and welcome to this flipped instructional session where we will take a look at the Unit 8 assessment. So you want to make sure that you go through the lessons in Unit 8. The first three lessons will walk you through writing your essay. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at 8.01, Preparing to Write. So when we take a look at this lesson, we're going to be looking at the ancient Greeks were truly amazing. They made lasting contributions to science, mathematics, art, literature, government, philosophy, and more. And so you're going to do some research on the Greeks and report your findings in a well-written essay. The ancient Greeks left us many legacies in a wide variety of fields and everything from the arts and sciences to mathematics and philosophy. A legacy is something received or passed on from the past. You've already examined some of those legacies and you will explore more in the next unit. So let's get started today by exploring ancient Greeks whose theories, inventions, or ideas still influence us today in the areas of math and science. And don't forget, as always, on that first slide to click on Lesson Resources, where we will open up the student guide to guide us through this lesson. So we're going to be taking a look at Greek scientists and mathematicians. So you're going to do some research to get ready to write your essay about the contributions of one Greek scientist or mathematician. And so it tells you to start out by opening up the student guide. So when we open up the student guide, we'll take a look at our objective, which is just to identify those important scientific and mathematical contributions of the ancient Greeks. So the instructions here are pretty detailed on what we're going to be taking a look at. Um, so how do we know that we can determine how much carpet we need in a room by measuring and multiplying to get its square footage? How do we know that it's germs or allergens and not a curse of some sort that gives us a runny nose? And we have the Greeks to thank for all of this. So while many people in ancient Egypt, India, and China made important scientific and mathematical discoveries, most early peoples relied primarily on superstition and their beliefs about a variety of gods to explain the world and themselves. But you can learn a lot about the beliefs of the early Greeks from their mythology. By the 6th century BC, the Greeks had begun to turn away from magic um, and from explaining natural occurrences as a result of the whims of the gods. They began to celebrate the power of human beings to observe the workings of the world and then apply that to reason to explain what they saw. Today, it is easy to take the thought process for granted. We might enjoy stories about Zeus and Athena, but we separate those stories from scientific and mathematical reality. We know that lightning is the product of electricity in the atmosphere, not a bolt that's thrown down from Mount Olympus. Scientific and mathematical thought enables us to attack a terrible disease or an environmental disaster with research and reason so that we can find a logical solution. We can invent computers and send shuttles into outer space, and we assume that we will learn more and more about the universe as we continue to study it. And the Greeks gave the world that way of thinking, and that is quite a gift. Pythagoras was one of the first people to use logic, and only logic, to argue mathematical points. People after him followed that approach in other fields of study, Democritus reason that everything is made of tiny particles, atoms, and he didn't convince many people to agree with him in his own time, but he did push them to think about matter in new ways. His student, Hippocrates, taught doctors to look for natural causes and cures for illnesses, and he even told people to eat well in order to be healthy. The list of Greek achievements in science and math they could go on and on. And so as you read about some of these important contri um, contributors to those fields, think about their influence on the world. Their gifts weren't, weren't limited to a few key discoveries. They changed the way the world thinks. On lasting effects, Greek scientists and mathematicians sheet, you'll see the names of four ancient Greeks. You can go to the Groyer's online encyclopedia, click on the new book of knowledge, and in the search field, type the name of a scientist or mathematician. Read about 
their main contributions. And as you read, think about the following questions. What was the lasting contribution? What did they do that was so fascinating? And do I think these achievements are fascinating? As you read, also identify the contributions to math and science and list their accomplishments or their contribution. Try to identify an important impact that each one of them had on the world. And remember, this is just preliminary general research. Um, so you'll do some basic research on a few people and then select one individual to focus your essay on and explore those contributions and that impact in a lot greater detail. And so that is it for your first lesson. You're going to make a list of a few people, write down their contributions um, to science or math, and um, think about what impact they had on several people. And then we will, um, in lesson two, kind of narrow that down to which one you really want to focus on. So now we're going to dive into um, lesson two. Um, if you want to pause this recording, um, you can do that after you've got your list made and kind of done that basic research and then jump back into the video. And let's dive into lesson two. We're going to organize the thoughts and really research the person that you pick. Um, as always, don't forget those lesson resources are going to give us our objective to research that one Greek scientist or mathematician, form a thesis statement about the contributions, and then create an outline. So we're really going to kind of narrow this down today and do some research. So if we open up our student guide, um, that will guide us through the lesson. But let's take a look as we continue through um, this lesson. It just says, get ready, research. It tells you in the previous lesson, you selected an ancient Greek scientist or mathematician to write about. And if you haven't selected it yet, just take a look at your list. If you've got a fax, if you've gathered some facts about four or five different ones, go ahead and take a look which one interests you the most. Go ahead and pick that one. And today, you're going to gather the information about the person that you chose. And then you're going to narrow that information down and write a thesis statement about the contribution. So when I'm looking at that thesis statement, um, I'm looking for a good introductory paragraph with a good hook. And then the thesis statement, I should be able to read that thesis statement and know what your whole paper is about. I should know what Greek scientist or mathematician it's about and what their contributions were. And then you can expound on those and tell me in the paragraphs that follow. But in that first paragraph, I should know who it is and what their contributions were. So let's take a look at this um, expository essay plan. That is a Word document. And let's take a look at the taking notes portion. So I'm going to move over to the student guide. It's going to tell you begin your research by going back to the encyclopedia Read articles on the Greek scientist or mathematician that you selected. Write down the important information on the taking notes sheet. And so if we take a look at our taking notes sheet, this is kind of what it looks like. So you're going to um, have some guiding questions, just general information that you want to make sure that you include. Um, when were they born and died and lived and um, what were their accomplishments? What was the impact of those? Um, in the ancient times and in the modern times. Okay, and that'll help you kind of write that thesis. Remember, we want to use third person words. We don't want to use first person words like I, we. So you're not going to say, I am going to tell you about. Okay, um, so you can fill out your taking notes sheet. Um, so it gives you some ideas on several different um, Greek scientists or mathematicians, if you pick them, it gives you some articles that you can go ahead and read to gather some information. So if you would like to use those suggestions um, for um, any of these, feel free to go ahead and do that. It gives you four different ones and some um, articles to look at, or you can pick your own as well, but it, it's a great start if you want to use those. If you're not really sure where to get started, this is a great place to start. Choose one of these four and just go with that. So you're going to take your notes. Um, on that um, sheet taking notes and then you're going to open up that expository essay plan um, and we'll kind of dive into that and take a look at that. So your taking note sheet is a great place to get started and organize that information and then you're going to kind of make an outline. 
Um, and your essay should have an introductory paragraph. It should have supporting paragraphs where I'm going to read about the contributions. Maybe even have contributions and then what the impact was in ancient times and modern times. And then you're going to have a concluding paragraph. Each paragraph should cover one main topic. Um, it shouldn't be just like a biography. I should have a good outline with a main topic. Um, and the main topic should be the accomplishments and then the impacts in ancient times and modern times. So we will go over your outlines and thesis statement in class. Make sure that you're off to the right um, start here. If you have questions, you can let me know. But I will see you in the flip follow-up. So you can look for that flip follow-up session in your class connects.